What's up guys? I hope you're great. My name is Jesse and today I'm going to show you how you can download high resolution imagery. An image like this, look at this quality. Wow, look at this resolution. Wow. So before I dive into the story, I want to show you something. Many times when we are working in GIS, we need base maps maybe for extracting land cover information, for digitizing roads, or including additional features on your map. One of the most commonly used base map is the Google Satellite base map. But look at this. Check out the Google Satellite base map. It is here. And now check out this high resolution base map. Wow. Look at this contrast between the two base maps. Look at the Google Satellite base map. It's here. And then look at this base map. Wow. Look at it. A very high resolution base map at every cost. So this is an extract from Sydney, Austria. Actually, Australia, not Austria. Yeah, so this is an extract from the city. And it is a very high resolution base map. You can even see the cars on the roads. Let me zoom here. Let me zoom in on the roads and then you see, look at these cars. Wow. So let us dive straight into the tutorial and then I can show you how you can download such a very high resolution what? base map. So the first thing that you are supposed to do is to go to your browser and then search for map tiler. Yeah, so when you search for map tiler, it will give you results like this and then you open up this website in a new window. So map tiler is a product that gives us high resolution maps in form of RGB images. We have we have elevation maps. We have lots of features within this what this service. But for me today I am going to use it to do what? To get a very high resolution image of my study area. So how should I start? You create a free account. And then when you click create free account, it will take you to another window where you are going to input your what? Your credentials. Then you're supposed to sign up with what? With email. So since me, I have an email, I will sign in. But if you don't have, actually me, I have an account. So I'm going to just what? Sign in. But if you don't have an account, you have to create an account. So I'll sign in. Then I'll put my email then my password so if you don't have uh, an email you should sign in here so when you sign in it's going to bring for you what and uh, and uh, what a display like this so when you come to this display come to your account and then your account come to credentials and then when you click credentials uh, you are going to come and create a new token you have one token you have one token so me i already created mine so i already have a token you see this token i already have a token so you're, you're supposed to i can show you how you can create a token you come and then i'm going to revoke this yes so when i revoke this i'm going to come and create a new what new credential when i create a new credential i'm going to name it high resolution i'm just going to call it high res high resolution and then i'll save it when i'll save it i'll click here copy and then again i save so i've created a token you may ask a question why am i creating a token you are going to create this token to use it to access the products of this what of this service from quantum gis let me hope that is okay with you. Sure. So after, you can minimize this window and then go back to your quantum JS. So I'm going to untick these ones, the previous ones. So let me even remove this Google Satellite base map because I no longer need it. Yeah, so this is a boundary of my study area. I created a boundary. If you don't know how to create a shapefile, you can check out my tutorial on how to create what shape files within quantum gs sure so at this step i'm going to install a new plugin for the what for the map tiler so i'll come to plugins manage and install 
and then and then of course it will it requires internet connection for you to install the what the plugins and then you search for map tyler so this is the plugin me already installed it so if you don't have it installed click it and then click install it will take some time but then after it will install and then after installing the map tyler plugin will show another what another icon here in the browser window some of you don't have your browser window in a board so let me say in case it is not there you come to uh, this place here the this place here and then you click the browser what? panel and then it will be back i hope that is fine sure so at that stage we have installed our plugin and then you have registered to use the service of what of map tyler then what is the next step the next step is to click here then it will open a number of options now when it opens a number of options i want you to click set light then when you click set light it will take some time to initialize and actually it will prompt you to input your your credentials sometimes it can tell you to create a new password uh, and then sometimes it tells you to save the password i'm sorry let me look for where you can me already input mine so it has just brought the what the base map but then let me let me check you okay let me i'll click here and then i'll click account so when i click account you come here and you paste in your token there and then you click what okay sure so for me it has not brought it for me by default because i already had saved and then registered for this what for this account in the qgs what platform so but for you when you're using it for the first time it will prompt you to do this so make sure you input your token and then click ok if it doesn't just click the map tyler and then click account then when you click account you can put your token and then click ok i hope that step is okay yeah then the next thing we are going to do wow look at this base map it is a very high resolution base map so yeah and now you have the base map in your quantum years what next you can choose to extract any area of interest any area of interest so for me i already created this shape file so i'm going to extract only that what that area to do that i'll click this set light remember this is the base map eh? that has been input in my window this base map so i click the base map right click and then i say export when i click export i say save as save as i'll the format is a geotiff and then i, I leave it as raw data and when i come here i'll untick this create vrt this create vrt option is used to create tiles so today i don't want to save my imagery in form of tiles i just want to have it as a single image so i will untick it sure then i'll select where to save uh my area so i'll give it study area since i already have study area i'll call it study area one sure dot t and i click save i can change the connect system from here and then of course now the extent i may want to save the the, the 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 entire base map but that is a very 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 big base map so it will take a lot of time and then it will require huge 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 computation resources so to avoid that i'm going to clip out my study area so i will i can i can calculate it from the layer which is the layer which is the austria the austria what shape file this one that i created so i'll click australia actually and then when i input australia it will input the bounding box what coordinates and then sometimes you can use the map canvas extent you just click here and then it will use these what these extents but me i want my layer which is australia sure actually another important step is the resolution so the resolution you can choose to put in 
in a resolution you want this space map to be downloaded but since me i want it at a very high resolution i will put 0.5 and then here I'll put 0.5. Then when I put 0.5, I click OK. And then add saved file to the map. Then I'll click OK. As soon as I click OK, it will begin processing here. Are you seeing? Are you seeing? It will begin processing. Then it will, the, 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 the box will come and then it will show you the percentage. It will move from 0 to 5 and then to what? to 100 yeah hope that is okay so after the process is complete you will have a very high resolution image of your study area just like this wow look at this look at this look at this wow thank you so much for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button thank you